Gentlemen, two things to know about uh, getting the most accurate measurements for your labs for total testosterone and estradiol. First off, when you're measuring estradiol, always opt for the ultra-sensitive estradiol assay. This assay is more sensitive for men because men have much lower levels of estradiol than women, especially as they're going through their ovulation period. So ultra-sensitive estradiol is going to be more accurate at those lower levels of estradiol that men have. The difference between the regular estradiol test and the ultra-sensitive estradiol test can be quite significant. So if you're wondering why you're having side effects or why your estrogen is so high and you're not having side effects and your doctor wants to put you on an AI, that can be potentially harmful because your estradiol may be reading high, but you're actually not as high as your estradiol is reading on labs. And then you start an AI and you crush your estrogen, estrogen into the dirt and you feel like shit and you're wondering why and it's just chaos. Um, so always opt for the ultra sensitive estradiol assay. You're going to get a much more accurate reading and you can move forward with your protocol and make adjustments based off of that. Um, especially when you're dialing in an AI. Uh, but again, the differences between ultra sensitive estradiol assay and the regular estradiol assay can be quite significant to the point that the regular estradiol assay is, can be borderline useless. Less known is the difference between the total testosterone immunoassay and total testosterone LC slash MS. Total testosterone immunoassay is more common because it has a faster turnaround time and is cheaper. The LCMS version of total testosterone assay is more accurate and has a but is more accurate but has a longer turnaround time and is usually slightly more expensive. However, Again, you're going to want to get the most accurate readings out of your labs. So always opt, if you can, always opt for the LC slash MS version of total testosterone when you're measuring total testosterone. If your hospital doctor or private lab does not indicate that it is an LC slash MS assay, this usually means that they are using an immunoassay, which is less accurate than the LC slash MS. So when you're ordering your own labs, for example, I highly recommend doing it piecemeal because the, the male hormone package is going to um, use usually use the immunoassay because it's cheaper and it's got a faster turnaround time. Um, you can also request, I do this myself personally, my doctor likes to just do the immunoassay and I personally request to have the LC slash MS version as well as the ultra sensitive estradiol um, assay so I can have the most accurate readings on my total testosterone and my estradiol. This helps you dial in your protocol better um, and faster and it's more accurate and you don't have to wonder why your um, total testosterone and estradiol are all over the place each time you get labs. So yeah, just a couple of quick tips there on um, getting more accurate values out of your labs for estradiol and total testosterone. That's it, boys. Peace out.